Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we are back with another edition of American Minuteman Gear. And in this specific video, I want to talk about a gear system. I made a video like this a while ago, I think it was over a year ago now. Uh, however, some things have changed in my system, and there are reasons why, and so I wanted to discuss that and just explain my current system, again, always in flux, could be different in another year, but I thought this would be a good time to check in. So when I'm building a system, there are a couple things to note about this. Uh, first off is I'm building a system so that all the pieces, if I can get some of these more in the, the light here, all the pieces work together, okay? Uh, I want the pieces to be able to mix and match and function together. That's a key part of having a system versus just one piece of kit gear or whatever that you swap out, right? So that is part of having uh, how I want to build my system, that all the pieces can meld and work in unison and create a symphony of uh, war glory. So with that in mind, the main piece, the center piece of my current system is this chest rig. This is the Onward Research chest rig from uh, Grand Thumb and Friends, right? So it's eight up front, a uh, little two rolls of molly on the side, uh, so I got water and a radio and then uh, I have my IFAC down here with a, with a tourniquet, okay? So that is my current centerpiece to my system. When I made this video last time, uh, webbing was my centerpiece, right? Like the old kind of around the hips, British style, Vietnam era, American Vietnam era um, system or webbing. And I have since moved away from that because one, I like to keep my hips clean and two, I think this interfaces with a ruck a little bit better than just the webbing. So I have moved away from that. I've moved more towards a classic American meaning, classic American meaning in the last you know, 10, 15 years, right? Uh, style setup here to carry the weight on my chest and not on my hips. The other big reason uh, I like that is because it allows me to use the waist belt on my rucks. Now, could you still kind of use the waist belt depending on the ruck and, and the webbing setup when you have a webbing setup? Yes, you can. However, uh, I just like the setup better on, on the ruck. It rides more comfortable. When you're talking about carrying a heavier, heavier ruck for a longer period of time, I'd rather do it and utilize my waist belt. So that is another reason I moved over to this. The last reason and the, the least important reason is that it allows me the option to carry a pistol uh, if I want, right? I can wear a battle belt and carry a pistol and it leaves that option open for me if I should so choose. One other thing I forgot to mention about a huge advantage for the chest rig and another big reason I moved to it is that this is vehicle compatible. Uh, I can wear this and sit comfortably in a vehicle, right? Webbing, you cannot. And as I thought about it, being uh, an American with lots of wide open spaces, and if China, if slash when China invades, right, and things get bad, I'm most likely gonna be in and around vehicles. Even if that's riding in a vehicle for two hours to get to my AO, and then I'm gonna get out and walk around, whatever. Anytime I'm in a vehicle, I want this, this on my chest, right? I wanna carry the weight on my chest. I don't wanna carry it around on a webbing, because you really can't, in any way that's comfortable, sit in a vehicle with webbing on. So this was a huge, that was a big motivator to me of most likely there's a 95% chance I'm gonna be doing something in and around a vehicle, wearing armor or not. And in that case, I definitely wanna carry it on my chest and not uh, carry it in webbing. So I still have my webbing. I'll save it for when there's no more gasoline anywhere and it's really Mad Max-like. Um, and in that case, then I guess I'll switch to webbing when I know I'm not gonna be in a vehicle. But if I'm gonna be around vehicles, carrying on your chest, that's a big reason I moved as well. So I moved over to the chest rig. Uh, like I said, eight up front, one in the gun, all this stuff. That's the centerpiece of my system, okay? The other thing that is most commonly paired with that is this yoke pack. Uh, this is an Eagle Industries Yoke Pack. Big fan of the Yoke Pack. I'll do a video on that separately some other time. Uh, big fan of the Yoke Pack. That being said, this is just a small pack. I think this thing weighs in about 15-ish pounds. And uh, I carry three liters of water in here. You know, some basic sustainment stuff like some food, uh, a couple extra magazines, right? Uh, you can be able to see that right there. Some batteries, right? Just basic stuff. I have my knife currently in here. but basic little sustainment pack in order to sustain me for uh, 12, 24 hours, something like that, depending on how you count, right? There's no sleep kit or anything else in here. Uh, this is where I carry my nods in. Like this is just, again, basic sustainment stuff. The one downside to the chest rig, I will say, 
is that you have to pair it with a ruck, right? Yeah, I can carry a liter of water on the actual chest rig, but in general, there's no room for sustainment gear on there, unlike the webbing, where it does, you do have room for more sustainment-based gear. You know, with webbing, you can get away with just webbing. With, in order to carry the equivalent, you have to carry a little pack and a chest rig in order to make the same thing work. The next piece of my system is armor. So that's a helmet, right? Uh, and helmet also isn't necessarily just armor, but it's also able to carry my nods, right? So this gets thrown in more times than not. It can fit in the back of that yote pack, which again, another huge advantage of the yote pack. Uh, so big fan of just having the helmet on, whether or not I'm running plates or not. Helmet and then plates. And to be honest, I haven't done a ton with the plates, but again, because it's a system, I'm able to clip that chest rig into my plates, right? Because it has the swift clip adapters up here. I can Velcro it down and now there's no transfer necessary. I don't need a separate placard. I don't need a separate whatever. I can take my chest rig. I can slap it on here. Boom, I'm good to go. And everything's gonna function the same. It's just gonna weigh heavier. So I like being able to do that. I like that versatility. I like that, again, it melds together into that symphony. That's very important for me when I'm building out my gear systems. And the last piece of my current gear system, this is the Crossfire DG3, uh, 55 liter, three day pack. And this is the last piece that I currently have in my system. Uh, I have a bunch of external pouches on here. Actually, those are gonna come off, I've decided recently. But this piece I have for longer sustainment loads, right? Where I need to carry more stuff in order to accomplish whatever it is that I'm trying to accomplish. So in that case, uh, I could either clip in my uh, day pack here, which I added a little buckle around here somewhere. Oh, did I take that off? I might've taken that off. Okay, I lied. I took that off. But I did have a buckle on here to buckle this into my big pack. Uh, it can also fit on top and I can just cinch it down with the retention straps. So I could carry both if I wanted, but honestly, I would do everything I can to avoid that. And if I was gonna carry this pack, I would probably try to just carry this pack. And yeah, I'd be more weight and whatever, but that's a different philosophy we can argue and fight about some other time. Point being, this would be my larger pack for longer tr trips, uh, larger patrols, longer sustainment loads, or if for whatever reason, I just run out of room in my yoke pack. So this is the last piece in my system. Again, as you think about your systems and you think about what pieces meld together with your system, try to make sure that it all flows together and that it's not just random pieces you jump to, but that it melds and there's flow between them because not only will that be the best use of your money, however, we'll also keep uh, fewer pieces to maintain fewer pieces to keep stocked and fewer pieces to you know keep track of in general, which believe it or not becomes a problem. So I hope that's helpful. I hope that gives you some good ideas. Do brave deeds and endure.